Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of admin training course. So in this one, we are going to talk about controlling and dependent picklist values that we have in Salesforce. So let's just go ahead and see how we can set the dependencies and how do we manage it. All right. So I'll move to my org. <clears throat> So in the last uh, video, if you guys remember, we created a pick list called country. Basically, we created a global value set and then we created a couple of pick list on account, contact and opportunity and employee object. And um, we referred to this global value set for country values, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to create another pick list value for states. Okay. So let me just like, you know, uh, frame the scenario for you. So let's say um, I want to display two pick list fields on any of the object and depending on the country that the user selects in the second pick list field i want to display the respective states okay so if someone selects india then in the second pick list field of states i want to only display the states of india and not for the other countries okay and let's say if somebody selects mexico then i want to display the states that are there in mexico and not all the states of all the other countries okay so that is the requirement over here <clears throat> so the country pick list we already have i'm going ahead and creating another pick list for state so let me open an object so let's just uh, go ahead and do it for employee this is a custom object that i have so i want to show you that i already have a country <clears throat> country pick list over here which displays all the countries These are all the available countries that I have. I'm going to create another pick list here. State and I'm going to enter few values. I have not created any global value set. So I'm going to enter few values such as let's say Maharashtra. So these are few states of India. I'll go ahead and enter a few states from Mexico. All right. Now I have mixed up states of two countries. Okay. I'm not going to give a lot of options here. I will just simply show you how you can set the values so that it will uh, display the states with respect to the countries that you have selected. Okay. So this is it. Clicking on next. and save so now let's first go ahead and see how does it display the values okay so employees <clears throat> let me refresh this So here you can see country and state, okay? So let's see what happens. So if I click on state, <clears throat> it is showing me all the state values that I have entered, right? So even though whatever country I select, for example, if I select Argentina, it will still show me all the states, but this is not what I want. <clears throat> I want that whatever country I select, then the respective states should come up. So if I select India from here, And if I click here, then also all the states should not get appeared. Only these states which actually are existing in India, only those should appear, okay? So that is where the pick list dependency come in picture, okay? So let's just go ahead and select this, set this dependency. So I'll again move to the object manager. I'll go to employee object. We can go to fields and relationships and here there's something called field dependencies. You need to click on this. And you need to click on new. So here you need to select the controlling field. So in our case, controlling field is country. Okay. So country and dependent field is state. Okay. Okay. 
so this is where you have to set the dependencies and you need to find the country for which you need to select the states so this is the values of country the controlling fields and this is the dependent fields right so based on the selection of country you can set what states to be displayed so i want to you can actually click on go to and here you can search for so i'm going to search for india so for india i want to select this and then i'm pressing control from my keyboard this this and this and then include values okay and then i want to go to mexico and for mexico i want to select these two states i'll include and then save this let's just go ahead and check this So here, if I select India, then I should only be seeing the states from India. So India, hold on, let me hard refresh this. So if I click on India, Let me check what happened here. I think I saved it. Let me select Mexico and then we can check. No, I think, let me save it again. So here, field dependencies. It will start showing me the dependencies that I have set. So I can simply edit and save it again. So edit. All right, it is set. It is set. So let me just create another employee record and then. All right, employee 66 and then uh, country. So here I'm going to select India, India, and then here. Now you can see, right? It is only displaying the states that I have set for India, right? And if I select Mexico, then it is going to show me other two states that I've set for Mexico. But if I select something else, let's say Maldives, so it is showing me as disabled because I have not set the dependency for Maldives, right? So that is how you can actually set the dependencies for the, uh, like, you know, any kind of controlling and dependent pickles values that you have. And there's one more thing that you need to keep in mind. So let's say, <clears throat> let me create one for this one and then I'll show you. So let's say I have created this. All right. So let's say if somebody again, like, you know, the same scenario that we discussed in pick list and multi-select pick list, if someone tries to enter something that is not set, for example, if somebody uh, using data loader or from backend, if they are trying to enter values, um, like, you know, if these are restricted pick list values, or if even if these are not restricted pick list values, but let's say if they are trying to enter something any kind of dependent value which is not available in your dependency for example if i have i have set for these four values right now let's say if i go ahead and uh, deselect one of the values so for example okay so let me remove gujarat from here exclude value and save it so now there should be only three values for india right So here, so see the Gujarat, Gujarat option is gone from here, right? Now let's say just because Gujarat option is available in the state pick list, right? Because I just removed it from the dependency, but that option is still available, correct? So if I click on state, 
so i can see that option over here right but if somebody is actually trying to insert employee data and they are trying to insert country demo field as india and they are trying and trying to enter a state value as gujarat it will throw an error they will not be able to do it using a data loader or even from the back end because it will throw them error of like you know bad value or something something like that like you know bad pick list value so in such cases like you know again you might be stuck thinking that why am i getting that uh, error because i do have that option available in the pick list right so why is it not allowing me to enter from the back end or let's say like you know using data loader for example if you are doing a data migration activity so in that case if that happens to you right that if you have the dependent value set option available but you are still getting an error saying that like you know bad pick list value or something like that then you should know that the next thing that you have to check is the field dependencies because the field dependency is not set for this value you will not be able to enter this value as the dependent value of the controlling value country okay so three things okay first of all how to the first thing that you learned here is how to create a field dependency okay you need to have one controlling uh, pick list and the other one that you would have is the dependent pick list value okay and if you want to set these dependencies you need to click on fields and relationships you need to go on field dependencies you need to create a new field dependency click on new select the controlling field select the dependent field and you can set the values the third thing is that when you are creating so from the ui there is no way that user can select something else which is not displayed right but from back end if you are using data loader or script or any kind of like you know other means of inserting data then it will not allow if your field dependency is not set all right so that is all i had in uh, field dependency in terms of controlling and dependent pick list value set in salesforce but if you have any other uh, additional questions on this you can please um, comment under the comment section and i'll try to uh, resolve it or if there's anything that you think that has that i did not cover on this but i think i think this is all about it but if there is anything that you think that you can like you know you want to know more about it please comment so that i can like you know i'll i'll create another session for that and that's that's it for now so i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye